Hello, so today we're going to go over um, systems of equations. So what is a systems of equations? A system of equations is when you are solving more than one equation simultaneously. So when you have more than one equation, that is called a systems. What is a solution to a systems? A solution it to a system is an ordered pair like five comma four um, that satisfies all, satisfies all of the equations. In other words, it makes all of the equations true. So let's look at this example. Here is a systems of equations. Notice that we have two equations, so we have more than one equation. We want to know, is 4, 7 a solution to the system? In order for 4, 7 to be a solution to the system, it must satisfy both equations. So let's see if it satisfies both equations. So we have 4, 7. Remember, that means that we're x, x is being replaced with 4 and y is being replaced with 7. Let's look at equation number 1. Equation number 1 is y equals x plus 3. So that means we should put a 4 where the x is and a 7 where the y is. And then is that a true statement? Does that make the statement true? Yes. So 4, 7 satisfies the first equation. Does 4, 7 also satisfy the second equation? The second equation is 2 times x plus y. Does that equal 6? So we must plug in a 4 where the sub x is and a 7 where the y is. So that'd be 2 times 4 plus 7. Does that equal 6? 8 plus 7, no. That does not satisfy the second equation. So our answer would be that 4, 7 is not a solution to the system because it did not satisfy both equations. What if we changed it? What if we looked at the coordinate uh, or the point one four? Would one four satisfy the equation, uh, the system? So let's look at one four. Let's look at the first equation, y equals x plus 3. So we should put, in place of x, we should put a 1. And in place of y, we should put a 4. So does 4 equal 1 plus 3? Yes, it satisfies the first equation. So check mark, yes, it satisfies the first equation. Does 1, 4 satisfy the second equation? So 2x plus y equals 6 is the second equation. We should put a 1 where the x is and a 4 where the y is. Does that equal 6? According to PEMDAS, yes, it equals 6. So because it satisfies both equations, we can say that 1, 4 is a solution to the system. So as long as it makes one of the equations true, it, it has to make both, both equations true to be a solution to the system. How do, what are the ways to solve a systems of equations? There's many ways to solve a systems of equations. You can solve a systems by graphing. By graphing, you can solve a systems by substitution or by elimination. Those are algebraic approaches. Those are algebraic approaches, or you can use matrices. In Algebra 2, we're just going to go through the first three, and today we're going to talk about by graphing. So today we're just going to talk about graphing for today. In other days, we're going to look at substitution and elimination. Matrices might be in your Algebra 2 class, could be in your pre-calc class or your calculus class. Um, that's something we maybe do for another class. So how do we solve by graphing? So you just graph each uh, equation and see where they intersect. So if we graph the first equation, isn't this plus 3, isn't that the y-intercept? So don't you start at the y-intercept? 
We already went over how to graph lines in a previous lesson. The slope is negative 2, so that means we should go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. And you should be as accurate as possible and plot as many points as possible. Use a straight ruler. I'm hard for me to use a ruler on this, so that's the first equation. The second equation is not in y form. So we need to divide everybody by a negative 1 to get y by itself to solve for y. Now that we solve for y, now we can actually graph the second equation. Negative 3 is the y-intercept. So there's negative 3. The slope is positive 1. So up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. Again, we already went over how to graph a line. Where the two points intersect is going to be the solution. You actually have to name the coordinates. So the final answer is 2 comma negative 1 is your answer. You can double check it by plugging it in and making sure that it satisfies both equations and makes both equations true. If it does not make both equations true, then that means you've made a mistake somewhere. Okay, that, were my, that was my dogs, my big newfies barking. Let's go over example number two. So again, you're graphing the equations and you're seeing where the equations intersect. That is the ordered pair that will make, that will satisfy both equations. So on the first equation, isn't the y-intercept zero? And remember the slope is one third. So up one over three, up one over three and down one. Remember, it's a positive slope, so your line should be slanting uphill. And then we graph the second one. The second equation is not in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is when you have y by itself. So we need to use our algebra skills to solve for y. Now we can graph the second equation. Remember, there's like a hidden one in front of that. That's where I ended up getting one third for the um, slope, and then the y-intercept is three. So positive three is the y-intercept. The slope is one third. So up one, over three, down one, over three, down one, over three. And this is the second line. So where do these lines intersect? Where do they overlap? They don't overlap, so therefore your answer is no solution. So there is no xy ordered pair that is on both lines. There is no intersection, so your final answer is no solution because parallel lines never intersect. I don't know if you remember this fact from back in Algebra 1, but in Algebra 1, remember we said if the slopes are the same, then you will have parallel lines, right? So I kind of knew these lines were parallel before I even started. Example number three, uh, we've got a y-intercept of two and our slope is one. So up one over one, down one over one. It's a positive slope again, so it's planning uphill. Always important to graph a lot. Second equation is not in slope-intercept form, so we need to use our algebra skills to get y by itself. We need to divide every term by negative 2. So we have y-intercept of 2 again and a slope of 1 again. So when I'm going to graph this one in green. So when I graph this one in green, I end up getting the same line on top of the black line. So what happens when you have a line on top of another line? There are infinitely many solutions, right? There are infinitely many solutions, but if they say solve the solutions, so the actual solution is any x, y point, on 
the line y equals x plus 2. So that would be your answer to this one. So any point that actually is on this line is a solution because the, each of those points hits both lines because there are actually two lines on top of each other. So any point on the line is going to hit both of those lines. So there, while there are infinitely many points, the question was to find the solution. So the solution is any point that's on that line. That's the actual final answer. Okay, so the last example, we have y equals 3. So that is, where is y equals 3? This is where all the points where y coordinate equals 3. So remember, y equals 3 is a horizontal line. And where are all the points where x equals 2? These are all the points where x equals 2. Remember, x equals 2 is a vertical line. And where is the point that is on both lines? So where they intersect, that's the point that's on both lines. So the final answer is 2, comma, 3. That is the solution that will satisfy both equations. So to summarize, uh, solving a systems by graphing is you are graphing the equations and looking for where they intersect. In the first example, we had one place where they intersected, so 2, negative 1. In the second example, we had no intersection, so there was no solution. There wasn't any x, y ordered pair that would satisfy both of the equations. Example three, you had a line on top of a line, so every x, y ordered pair that's on that line is a solution. And the second example was some horizontal and vertical lines. I hope this helped. This is graphing, uh, solving the systems by graphing.